right, let's jump into this demo. So you have the balloon, which represents your uterus. So the small opening is the cervix. In the middle, that's gonna be the thick part. And then at the end, is gonna be the uterus where the baby is. Obviously, the ball is gonna be the head of the baby. As I get this stuffed in here, so the thickness, that part's gonna get shorter. That's gonna be our effacement. Dilation is gonna happen at the um, cervix, which is the end. And now that the ball is in, we're gonna watch the dilation. The top, that's gonna be the fondest. That's the part um, that does the contracting. So let me blow it up for a little bit. You know, we've gotta have a nice and big uterus for that beautiful baby. Perfect. Now that we have it stuck in the bottom here, you have the top, that's the fondus. That's gonna be your uterus. That's gonna be the effacement and dilation at the bottom with the cervix. Disregard the lipstick. <laughs> All right, so when we have our baby contractions or practice contractions, these are also called Braxton Hicks. Not a lot is happening. We're not getting any effacement or dilation, but we see real contractions. You see how it's no longer as long? That means that our phasement percentage is going down. So we're about 100% 100% a face there. And as you can see at the end, you're getting a little dilation in the cervix. As the contractions continue, we're now 100% a face and we're dilating even more with each contraction. Now, of course, uterus doesn't look like this, but this is great for the description. And as you see, as the contractions continue to happen, the baby's head continues to come down and you get dilation until your baby's born. Obviously, it's not a pop like that, but this will help you understand how aphasement, dilation, and the contractions work together. For more on birth and labor, check out SBK Learning Academy with full online courses.